So in this video, I'll be going over mining Ravencoin on the GTX 1080. I'll be going over the hash rates, power draw, and overclocks mining on Ravencoin's new Kapow algorithm. So thanks for tuning in. This is the life of mining. Okay, so the GTX 1080 I'm going to test is from EVGA, and this is the SC Gaming Edition. And I'm going to share my results mining Ravencoin on the new Kapow algorithm. Now this is my test bench with the GTX 1080 and it idles around 34 watts. Okay, so now the miner program I'm going to use is called NB Miner version 30.2. Now I do want to mention that when using NB Miner, my hash rates would fluctuate a good amount. So I did take the best average I could. And the overclock program I'm going to use is called MSI Afterburner. And let's first check out the stock settings. So running NB Miner on stock settings, I was averaging around 14.87 mega hashes. Now the whole test bench was pulling around 227 watts. So the GPU itself was only pulling around 193 watts. So the average hash per watt is about 0.077 mega hashes per watt. Okay, so now the max overclock settings I could set without crashing the card and keeping it stable. I put the core at 50, memory at 700, and the power limit at 100. So now I was averaging around 17.7 mega hashes, and the GPU itself was pulling around 193 watts. So the average hash per watt is about 0.092 mega hashes per watt. Okay, so now let's go ahead and drop the power limit by 10. So I put the power limit at 90, and I kept the core at 50, and the memory at 700. Now I was averaging around 17.68 mega hashes, and the GPU itself was now pulling around 173 watts. So now the average hash per watt is about 0.102 mega hashes per watt. Let's drop the power limit by another 10. So I put the power limit at 80, and I kept the core at 50 and the memory at 700. Now I was averaging around 17.65 mega hashes, and the GPU itself was now pulling around 153 watts. So now the average hash per watt is about 0.115 mega hashes per watt. Now dropping the power limit another 10, so I put the power limit at 70 and kept the core at 50 and the memory at 700. Now I was averaging around 15.01 mega hashes, and the GPU itself was now pulling around 134 watts. So now the average hash per watt is about 0.112 mega hashes per watt. Okay, so in conclusion, in comparing the overclocks, putting the power limit around 80 is the best hash per watt ratio. But depending on your situation, you do want to adjust your power accordingly. Okay, so now testing out another miner real quick to compare. Mining on G miner on max overclock settings, I was averaging around 17.52 mega hashes. Now in MB miner on max overclock settings, I was averaging around 17.7 mega hashes. But the hash rates did fluctuate a lot more in NB miner compared to G miner. So when using NB Miner, my hash rates were averaging a little bit higher compared to G Miner, but it's kind of within the margin of error. Okay, so for some final notes, depending on your graphics card, you may be able to overclock a lot more or a lot less. For example, I have a GTX 1080, that's an FTW edition, and I was able to put the memory to 1000, which is the max when mining Ravencoin. Now there were times when my hash rates were a lot higher than usual, but my power consumption was a lot higher as well. Now I couldn't repeat this all the time, but it did happen frequently. So last but not least, check your hash rates and power consumption when mining Ravencoin, and check your hash rates from the pool side as well. Alright, so thanks for checking out my mine results mining Ravencoin on the GTX 1080. And I'll do more testings on Ravencoins with other graphics cards as well, so stay tuned. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it, sub if you study to see what's next, but of course, Thanks for watching and always happy mining.